Um, you may notice a difference with the audio, I finally got a new mic, so you're welcome to that one commenter who shaded me on my audio quality. Anyways, I know I said I would be making a story time, but then things started happening and I just... You know, life really do be like that sometimes, so here we are with this video, sorry. Hi guys, gals, gays, and theys, it literally feels like forever since I've said that, <laughs> but today I'm coming at you with a more more lighthearted video about Z Fix's art. If you saw my first video on the situation, you probably know all my thoughts and qualms with their art and the general gist of the issue. If you haven't already watched it yet, definitely go check it out, I'll link it below as well as in the card. Otherwise, let's discuss. So about a month ago, I made my first video on Z Fix's art, which I honestly didn't anticipate doing as well as it did. After it was released, some of my other favorite creators like Spooksy and Muhammad Al-Ghabi made their own videos about them, and Z started to gain a lot more attention. Obviously, I didn't think it would get this far, and in hindsight, I low-key feel bad because I'm wondering how I contributed to this untimely hack. I guess I may never know. However, since my last video on them, nothing seemed to really change on their Twitter. I thought they might have just ignored my video and continued on with their normal way of doing things. You know, just fixing art as usual. But I also started to suspect that they did watch my video or at least read through the comment section because they tweeted a couple days after my video release saying, quote, why does everyone think I'm bait? Now, if you take one second to scroll into the comment section of that video, absolutely everyone, and I mean everyone, was accusing Z of being a troll. To be fair, I never saw them as a troll in the slightest and uh, trust me you guys, I'm right about that. As convincing as they are, they're not a troll. Like, I'm being 100% serious, I know they really come off that way, but they're not. And after that tweet, I thought, oh, okay, well, they must have watched my video, maybe they'll change some things. But I was wrong. I stopped checking on their account a while ago until recently when I realized they got hacked. A lot of you guys actually alerted me of this situation in the comment section, which, you know, it's pretty wild how quickly this entire situation escalated, but I'll talk about that a little later on. I first wanted to understand what led up to this and how it happened. Here's what I found. About a week after my video went up, Z started tweeting about how they were having issues with Twitter and how Twitter suspended their account for no apparent reason. I mean, to be fair, some of Z's tweets were a little questionable at times. You know, calling all men scrotes or whatever and being casually xenophobic, but um, you know. Anyways, Z claimed to have deleted all their problematic tweets, but Twitter still suspended their account and they were pretty upset by it. Some of the tweets they wrote said, I don't know why I get so much hate. I'm just drawing characters with my own interpretation. I just wanted more POC representation in anime. Why do you have to hate? If you hate my art, just block me and move on. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I'm literally I'm really afraid to tweet anything anymore. All I do is draw cute POC characters and all of Twitter wants me dead. People have sent me death threats and Twitter won't do shit. It's just not fair. And honestly, I really don't condone that, you guys. Like, a lot of us, including myself, don't necessarily agree with what Z has been doing. I mean, they quote unquote fixed a commission piece of a real human being. They're super rude and destructive when they fix said pieces of art and generally just seems like a really nasty person. But does that warrant death threats? Really? Come on now. Honestly, taking things a bit too far, don't you think? Heck, if Twitter suspended their account, that's one thing, but having people threaten Z's life and harass them to no end is simply unnecessary and really not okay. Especially when I already talked about how we shouldn't be taking issue with their identity, but rather with their actions. And besides, if you really think about it this way, all Z did was draw fictional anime characters as fat and black. Sure, the negative implications were there, like trying to desexualize characters by making them fat and black, or saying that paler skin is inherently a flaw that needs fixing, but I don't think that warrants death threats or their subsequent hacking. However, I don't even think Z understands why people are upset with them. Like, all the reasons have kind of flown over their head. They literally said, quote, I hate that everyone strawmans my arguments. Like, wow, you draw Asian characters as fat and black, that must mean you think POC people are ugly lol. Like, what part of don't sexualize teens do you people not get? Black, white, Asian, don't sexualize teens. And it's just like, like, do you think teenage girls don't have boobs? <laughs> or like, 
I don't know what they're trying to get at here because I genuinely think they must not think teenagers can look the way some of them are drawn in anime. I don't even know what they mean by sexualizing teenagers because the art that they quote unquote fix aren't even inherently sexual. It's just thin, fair skinned anime characters who also so happen to have titties. Like, also, most people are less upset about them attempting to desexualize characters in comparison to what they are actually insinuating with their art, which is if you are thin or fair skinned or have titties, you are inherently sexual and inferior, thus you need to be fixed to become black, fat, and flat-chested. A couple days later, Z actually posted something kind of cute, like, okay, they may need a little help with their line arts, but I'm glad that they're actually aware. This piece was original, kind of like their Miku headcanon that we all kind of enjoyed. They said, quote, random mouse doodle of my fiance and her friend. I know the line art is messed up, so don't worry about it, lol. And you know, I actually think it's low-key cute. I especially like the black girl's outfit and her sunglasses. And everyone in the replies was really nice, saying things like, you've improved, they're so cute, I love this, stuff like that. Obviously, people were more receptive to their original art and that was a really positive thing, but apparently, Z didn't want that positive attention because literally the next day they said, just you guys wait, I'm definitely not stopping redesigning anime characters, I've got a whole bunch of art I'm waiting to share. And I find it interesting how they rephrase it to redesigning anime characters and not fixing anime characters because their literal at before they got hacked was Z fixes art, not Z redesigns art. So like, I don't know, it's just very confusing. Regardless, everyone was just begging them not to and knowing Z, they did it anyways. Just as swiftly as Z was improving their art and making illustrations that some people actually enjoyed, they were back on their bullshit, going crazy, ah, going stupid with the rapid fire fixing. They attempted to fix a handful of JoJo characters as well as a couple of other characters from animes that I don't know of. And when I say rapid fire, I mean rapid fire. Z literally was releasing like one or two fixes per day before this anonymous hacker seized their account and took over. I don't know what they were thinking honestly because I'm just like, if a bunch of people responded positively to one of your original drawings, why would you turn around the next day and be like, nah, I know everyone loves this type of drawing but I'm gonna just turn around and make everyone angry again because that's simply how it's done. Like, Okay, art is definitely supposed to be for you and you should be able to draw what you love, but the problem is the fixing. It's not okay. No one likes that you fix art, dude. I don't know how else to phrase it. It's literally so frustrating. So in conclusion, it was just a colossal mess on Z's Twitter ever since my video released. People were harassing Z, which I don't think was okay, but then Z seemed to have been doing a little better and then people were starting to have a little hope, only for them to mess everything up again and regress even farther, releasing a ton of new fixes that infuriated a bunch more people. And it was just all around not the best time. A lot of Muslim, LGBTQ, and fat folks were all commenting how upset Z made them feel and how they served as bad representation for the LGBTQ plus Muslim community as well as fat community. So yeah, all in all, Twitter was a shit show as usual. The same day Z released this last fix, an anonymous hacker managed to seize Z's account posting a not safe for work picture of Z getting, um, you know, I don't, I don't have an analogy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the hacker posted this picture tweeting, quote, guess who's got control over Z's account, get, <laughs> and then obviously posted this picture, which I literally can't even censor or blur because it's just that bad. A lot of people under the post was celebrating, saying things like, you have done the internet a great favor. You made my day, bro. Legend. Y'all are so dramatic. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I don't like Z just as much as the next guy, but once again, I ask, is this warranted? Like, actually though. I feel like quarantine has made us all so bored or something, but geez, drawing hentai of a real person is kinda messed up, my guys. I don't know, something about it really doesn't sit right with me at all, and I don't think Z deserved it. Other commenters reiterated my exact feelings, saying, yeah, yeah, I may watch a lot of hentai, but this is gross. This is a real person. Z may have done some terrible stuff, but why do this? Literally, this is so fucking disgusting. I hate what they did, but this is wrong on so many levels. Yuck. 
And I agree with all of these sentiments. I don't think this was deserved. I don't think anyone should have gotten this far. Sure, like, Z isn't off the hook, but it's just human decency to not have your persona drawn like this or having your account hacked. Seriously, their art has a ton wrong with it, and I already unpacked that all in my first video, but I just don't think this response is justified despite all the issues with their art. I don't know, I would expect to see some semblance of human respect, but I guess that's too much to ask for now. After their account got hacked, the hacker released those two NSFW drawings of Z, leaked their block list, which was actually pretty extensive. I'm surprised I wasn't on there honestly, but we'll get into that shortly. And they also leaked Z's unsent tweets, blocked words list, as well as someone they've DM'd. This hacker has also made it a point to retweet or repost a bunch of fan art made of Z, a lot of it being NSFW and just a lot. Uh, once again, I don't think it's cute or funny, it's just kind of disgusting but you know that's just my opinion something of particular interest that the hacker said at one point was quote Z doesn't have any alts from what I understand so it's a shame that we can't see their reaction to all of this and a couple of the youtubers who have already covered Z being hacked has also reiterated this claim I think at this point we have seen the end of this long saga with Z and we shouldn't expect anything from the account from now on but we'll always have to be on the lookout because you never know what could be looming on the horizon line. And a lot of people have been debating whether or not Z is a troll. To be clear, I 100% think Z is real, and here's why. A couple days after I found out Z was hacked, I was actually messaged by Z themselves on their new Instagram account, and they said, quote, I just want to thank you for ruining my Twitter, you clout chaser. Which, big oof, honestly, but... Um, I obviously didn't message back because I'm not in the business of starting shit, but I just find it funny, like, yeah, I did make the first video about them that ultimately started this shit because I genuinely thought it was a little funny and it would be interesting to hear what other people thought about it, but that doesn't mean I condone their account being hacked or their persona being taken advantage of like that. I understand my video may have been a catalyst and once again, I never once anticipated my video performing as well as it did when I made it, but hey, it seems like Z is back to their normal self, calling people clout chasers and roaches. All I hope and pray for them to do is fix my persona and I honestly think my life will be complete. I mean, I don't know how they would fix her because she's already black, but you know, maybe darker? I <laughs> just... For now, all I know is they have an Instagram that has nothing posted yet, and they also, quote, are making a new Twitter soon, so we'll see what happens with our pal Z. I do genuinely hope they end up getting their Twitter back, but instead of fixing other people's art and outraging everyone, I hope that they can continue making original characters and make themselves and others fulfilled doing that rather than making thin, fair-skinned, or big-chested women feel like they need to be fixed. That's all from me. As always, a big thank you to my patrons as well as a big thank you to Jupertus, I hope I'm saying that right, for this really adorable fan art. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!